Good morning, you guys. It's almost afternoon. I am getting a little bit of a late start to my dinner, but I figured I'd quickly tell you what I'm making, kind of how I make it, that kind of stuff. Um, so I am making stuffed peppers in the crock pot. I'm very excited. Um, so it's just, I'm going to do four peppers. These are huge. I'll have to show you. I'll have to set you guys up. Um, and, um, show you what they look like. Cause holy moly. This one I already pulled out was ginormous. But, uh, my mom is coming over here tonight to watch Ez. So, and she's like, I was going to make spaghetti tonight. And then I was like, you know, I don't really feel like spaghetti. Let me see what the temperature is. I had the door open. It's only 75, which compared to the 90 something degree weather, 80 something degree weather. And I just took the trash out and it feels amazing. So I figured today was probably going to be a good day. I got to figure out what to set you. Um, to make stuffed peppers. Um, so normally, like, I'll either do stuffed peppers or stuffed pepper soup. Um, now you can either do this in the crock pot or you can do it technically in the oven. Um, so I'm doing it in the crock pot. So it's, I just used one packet of ground beef. I'll show you because I already have one pulled out. Or my spaghetti. So I just took one of these. Um, let me see my pounds. So, it's a uh, one pound of ground beef. So it's because it's three pounds total or whatever of ground beef. It's like three three of those packets, so it's equal to three pounds or whatever. Um, so I have that. I have four peppers. I have two cans of tomato soup, which you guys saw when I did my pantry organization, which. You guys are killing that video, by the way, because um, I have a whole bunch, and that was for the tomato, or the um, stuffed pepper soup, or the stuffed peppers. So I have, I have the low sodium, I just have two of these, and then I have a package of the Ben's Original Jasmine Rice. It's, you're supposed to cook it, which I'll probably just warm it up, or I'll just either, like, put it in the cold. And then I have four bell peppers. So look at how huge that one is. Oh my God. So I, I'm just going to cut the tops off of these. This one's a little funky, but I think it'll be okay. If not, I'll just stuff one. Um, a little fuller. So let me set you up real quick. A terrible angle, but so I like that one. That's a little tinier. And then there's that one. But I'll show you guys really quick. So that's what I mean. It's a little slimy, so I don't think I'm going to use that one. Um, I'll see what the inside looks like. But, yeah, it's just a little cut. But what I do is I cut ugh, the tops off of these. I think, yeah. That one might be okay. I don't know. Um, and then I get all the extra sides out on the inside with all the seeds, and then I'll wash it out. Um, I think it feels okay. I think it'll be fine. Um, so I'm just cooking my ground beef right now. So I'm just cooking my ground beef, I said, um, right now also, um, and then cutting the tops off of these. And then I just need to mix my rice and my seasonings and stuff in a bowl once my ground beef is done. That one's a big boy too. Okay, these are huge. Like, look at the inside of that one. That one's all weird. Um, but. Um, so I just need to grab a bowl and um, mix everything together once this ground beef is done. Um, how is the start of your September? Is it good? Is it chilly where you're at? Um, it's kind of getting a little cooler where, I, where I'm at. 
Um, and they just posted a picture of like the, when the leaves are gonna change. So where we're at, it's like the second through the 25th, I believe, um, is when like the peak of the leaves changing is, I believe. I know up north it is like this month, which is crazy to me that like to start all that, which I know the UP it um, kind of just like that's the highest or whatever. But I think it's just crazy. All right, you guys, so all of my peppers are washed now put this stuff in the sink. I just put my knife in the dishwasher. Um, so, i turn that down really quick. It's almost starting to burn. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a packet of rice and then I need to get some onions. Salt and pepper. A whole bunch of seasonings in here. So I'm just gonna do. I don't. Have, I don't like regular onions, but I'm just gonna do like the minced onions um, for this recipe. That is honestly the closest thing to me cutting onions to be honest so so this is my big tupperware bowl from the middle of we always had tupperware bowls i swear uh, so i'm not gonna heat it up just because i don't feel like it plus it's gonna cook um and the crock pot we'll see if i need to add more rice i'm thinking i might need to add a second packet It gets rid of some of these packages of rice. All right. So I have my mitts. All right. So I just need to grab the last little bit of ground beef that's in there, scrape that out. Also, I love using cast irons because they're like my best friend. Okay. I don't know because that doesn't seem like a whole lot of ground beef to be honest, but I mean, we might only get like three peppers out of there. So I just kind of add however much I feel in there for the minced onions. And then same thing with the ground beef or the salt and pepper. Now, if you have like a bigger family, I would do a bigger package of ground beef, obviously. Um, kind of based it off of where you're at and stuff like that. Let's see. Well, like the rice is already pre-cooked, so. But you just have to like heat it up or whatever. In the microwave. I think it only takes like 90 seconds to cook in the microwave. So, which is not bad, honestly. Right, let me pause this really quick and then I'll be done. Alright, you guys, I had to literally look just because I haven't made it in forever. Um, just to see, like, make sure I'm doing this right, because it almost seemed like it was, like, I needed to add some substance to it. So I had to add, um, just quickly, like, a can of tomato soup. So that's all I had to do, was just add the tomato soup, just to make it a little bit more thick and stuff like that, and hold together. I haven't made this in a while, to be honest. So 
That's why I was like, hold on, I need to do this before I fully do anything. Um, so I'll show you guys like this mixture or whatever. I don't think I'll need that second pack of um, rice. I think it'll be fine. So um, I have Avalon. Hi! On um, the television at the moment. Um, Starbucks just came out with their um, fall drinks. Okay, so what I'm doing is just stuffing the peppers with um, the mixture. And I'll show you guys too as I'm doing this. So that's probably as far as I'm going to get with that one. And then all I'm doing is just setting them in the crock pot. Um, so Labor Day is in the couple days as I'm filming this too. I'm going to make um, a little dip, I think. Um, it's like a queso with Velveeta cheese and like cream cheese and stuff like that and sausage. Jimmy Jean sausage is what I use. So that's exciting as my head's cut off here. You're currently sitting on my curry because I don't have any other spot to put you. Because last time I did this, you guys fell. So, yeah, this is perfect amount of stuff. Um, anyways, so yeah, um, and I think I'm going to pull some brats out and, um, my mom is going up. They bought some property on a lake, not that far, like half hour, 45 minutes from here where we live. And so it's actually been quite pretty up there. So I didn't shove that big one. That folks, I want to make sure I had enough for this last one. But um, anyways, um, I wanted to see what her plans were because um, obviously, like, we're all not working. So, like, I'm we're off on Monday, and her office is closed on Monday as well. So, this last little bit. This one might not be as full, but I think it'll be okay. So, it's not, you can't quite see it as much, but it's not quite as full um, as I'd like it to, but that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. All right. I can't really cook. Ooh, that's quite a tight squeeze. All right, so. So that's what it looks like. And then you just dump a container because it says 24 um, ounces of tomato soup. But these are 10 and 3 quarters, so it equals out to um, like the. Let's see, I'm going to set you somewhere. Let's see. As I'm trying to figure this out. No, nope, that's not going to work. Nope. Okay. So I'm just going to set you down, I think back right here just so you can see a little bit this and the dishwasher okay so i just need a big spatula Ugh. and then i just dump this in there um and then i have it on low you can kind of just watch it um however you like just kind of keep it on depending on what time you put it in stuff like that so it just kind of depends on what time you put it in that kind of stuff um, or if you're doing it's like a weekend and you want to have an early dinner before school that kind of stuff now I think I'm gonna put an extra um, container of this tomato soup in here so I only have like a regular one so I think it'll be fine to be honest um, I should have put the tomato soup in beforehand that's what I really should have done but hey trying to film trying to cook dinner that's okay right 
Ezra's new shoes came in. it all out. Oof. Spilled a little, so that's okay. I'm not gonna turn it off. Um, so now I just have it on low for until like we're ready for dinner and until it's done. And I'll probably put it on warm um, after that so that way it's ready to go. So I think that's all I have. A little bit longer of a video, but I'm sure you guys don't mind the longer videos. So here, I'll show you really quick what it looks like. So you can kind of see. Looks pretty good. So hopefully my house should smell like um, stuffed peppers in the next couple of hours. So, all right, I'm going to end this here. Hope you guys enjoyed your day. Hope you guys enjoyed your Labor Day. Let me know what you guys did for fun, anything like that. Um, I think I do have a video going up on Labor Day, which is okay. I don't mind. Anyways, I'm going to end this here. Hope you guys enjoyed.